Okay, so this video is going to be on how I uh, customize my tri-fold aluminum snowmobile ramp for my truck. Basically, uh, what I did, or what I found, was that the studs in the snowmobile truck were chewing up the aluminum bars. So there's the damage to the uh, ramp from the stud on the snowmobile truck. Um, you can see it even kind of bent it down a bit. So that's why I'm doing this little project. Well, what I thought I'd do was just get a piece of 5 8 plywood and cut it to fit the center of the ramp. And just got a piece of 5 8 plywood and put it up the center of the ramp. I bolted it on with U-bolts underneath. So I used six U-bolts and just put like two on each end and two in the center. And then for traction, what I did was use the old uh, high faxes off my old snowmobile that I took off that were wore out and I just drilled them and bolted them on. I used uh, nylon lock nuts on everything so nothing would come apart and basically it just makes the whole center of the ramp a lot stronger and you don't end up ruining the, those aluminum bars. So with the uh, width of the 5 8 plywood and the high faxes it's still there's still enough room on this model to still close it and you know it's it's up a little bit but you can still fold it all up and tuck it away in your truck nice and neat the other shortcoming of these uh, ramps is uh, let's just say my workbench down there is the tailgate of the pickup truck and you've got it all set up but what the problem is is it's uh, the approach angle so a lot of times you'll get the front skis up on the ramp but the, ang the tracks like way back here and you're not getting any traction and it just spins and spins depending on what what type of surface you're on so what I did was just uh, made up this little ramp addition. I think you can buy them separately, but some companies make them. But I just made this up with uh, two by sixes and some two by fours, and it just helps with the transition. So you just kind of put it up here like that. And then you get that extra, you know, that extra little bit of ramp for the uh, track. And you don't sit there and spin and rip out your studs. And, you know, it just works a lot better this way. So that's how I made my aluminum trifold ramp a lot better. Uh, if you like my video, Hit the thumbs up button. If you got any questions or comments, just type them out. I'll try to get back to you. I probably will get back to you because I'm not that famous. I'm just a beginner on YouTube. But I've got a lot of good ideas. And hopefully it helps you out. And I'll be putting lots more videos up. And thanks for watching. Subscribe. Comment. You know the deal.